Hi guys, it's Yasmin here and welcome back to Savoring Greens. It's the end of the year, it's December, it's the holiday season. While I know that it is completely exciting to be with friends and family and to celebrate Christmas, I know that it can also get quite stressful. Especially if you're traveling like we are, we're leaving this Friday, we're gonna go back home to celebrate with family and we're so excited. And I know that the stress of traveling, of buying gifts, of just fixing everything in our schedule, you know, it can get to us. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys three tips on how we can slow down. Just kinda breathe, slow down during the holidays, savor the Christmas season more because it is the most wonderful time of the year, honestly. I mean, I don't say that just to say that, I really do believe that. So here are the three tips. The first tip to slow down during the holidays is to incorporate a self-care routine that we make sure to stick to like on a daily basis. And the self-care routine can be divided into two parts. So the first part is sort of like incorporating a daily reflection, meditation, prayer, journal writing type of routine. It doesn't have to be long. Personally, I like to, to take around 10 minutes a day, start off with some breathing techniques to get me grounded. I read the Bible for a little bit, I do a little bit of prayer, and if I have time, I write on my journal. It could be like three things that I'm grateful for for that day, or it could be like a verse that really hit home for me or I got touched by. It can be anything, anything that allows you to be grounded and enables you to reflect on the most important things. I actually wrote a blog on the savoringgreens.com website where I talk about the one thing that matters. And I think it's such an important article to just kind of help us reflect because what it does is that it allows us to think about our goals again and to ask ourselves important questions to assess if these are the goals that we truly want. And given that it's the end of 2018 and we're going into 2019, I think it's also important to do some reflection on that. So the second type of self-care that I want to share with you is something that I really enjoy because in a way it's kind of like a way to pamper us, especially us women. And this is some sort of either a skincare or like a scent that I concocted to just allow us to relax, especially when we're having such a hectic day. So I'm gonna share with you three specific products to help you get into this whole you know relaxation and the first one is this baby this is a roller ball of essential oils so this consists of lavender so three drops of lavender three drops of cedar wood and three drops of frankincense and i'm telling you it is I sw when i'm when i'm smelling it it's like i'm already like getting into a meditative state you know it's just it's a super relaxing blend. So you can like put it here, like on your wrist, and then just kind of smell it, put in the palm of your hand, and then just kind of like smell it as well. You can incorporate this as you do your breathing exercises as well. It's great. And I bring this everywhere with me whenever I travel. And the second thing that I enjoy that really, really helps me relax, and I think I talked about this briefly on like a makeup for a traveling. Um, I, I made a video on that, but this is um, just some face mask. It can be anything, can be, I got this from Face Shop. And it's something that I like to put on on the plane uh, because honestly, if it's just to share with you guys, I do get quite stressed a little bit when we're traveling because there's so many things to think about. We do have a little boy, so it makes traveling a little bit more challenging especially now that he's no longer a baby and he needs a lot of like movement so i need something to relax me on the plane i need something that relaxes me when i get to our destination so this is something great to just put on my face and it just kind of gives me that whole spa feel so it just automatically relaxes my body the last item that i wanted to share with you guys in, t in terms of self-care okay this is because i don't want this video to be super long but this one is a roller ball. I'm sure you've probably heard other people talk about it, but it's really something to just kind of like roll on your face, on your neck, your forehead, etc. And what this does is that it does help your skin a lot. I've seen a lot of benefits in my skin since I've started using this, but it also helps relax our face muscles, 
which overall it just helps me just kind of get into that whole rounded feel so this is made out of jade so if you are looking into something that can do this for you really quickly i highly recommend the jade roller I... the next tip that i want to share with you guys is really a mindfulness exercise of being completely focused on the present situation so for example whenever we travel we have like back-to-back -back schedules like we have like family re reunions we have dinners we have lunches we have time when we meet friends and we have so many people that we want to catch up with and not to mention all the errands you know going to the bank fixing this and that when we're back home so what i find is most important is if we can create a habit where we try as much as possible to be present and i know we can't do it all the time it's exhausting but Whenever we're feeling really like stressed out, we can feel our you know, heart beating faster and we're feeling um, anxious. It's good to stop, take a breath and focus on being present, like engaging all of our five senses and completely focusing on the person that we're talking to and spending time at that moment. Focus on what they're saying, on what they could be feeling or their hand movements or their gestures or just even the idea of feeling grateful for having that time with them. I think that's so important and a technique to also help us be more present is to as much as possible like not to overbook and not to have so many things happening all at once for those of you who are living in manila i know that you know what traffic is like but it's really challenging for example if we have things booked like every other hour and then we're spending time with a person and all we can think about is we really need to go now because there's traffic and we don't want to be late for our next appointment so by not overbooking, what we're doing is we're allowing ourselves to savor the moment more. And being present is key, not just to slow down, but really to appreciate the moment that we're in. The third tip that I'm going to share with you guys to slow down and to appreciate the Christmas season more is to focus less on the material things, like on giving and getting material things and focus more on the experience, on the relationships that you're building, and on really like giving to a meaningful cause. These things might sound cliche, but there's actually a science that backs up that we become more happy and joyful when we do this. And when we focus less on the material things, focusing more on the relationship and on the experience. In the book by Michael Norton, so he is a Harvard professor, who wrote the book Happy Money, The Science of Smarter Spending. He actually talked about these things, like how we can use money to really just feel more joyful and feel more happy and more contented. And in the studies that they conducted, they really saw that those who invested more on experience, like say giving a gift of spending time with a person, watching a movie or a hiking trip with that person, whatever it is, investing more on the experience rather than giving them something material or also investing in a worthwhile cause that has meaning to you actually brings lasting joy as opposed to like fleeting type of that sense of pleasure. And on this note, I actually wanted to share with you an important announcement in case that you are thinking about what meaningful costs can I contribute to this holiday season. I do want to share with you guys something. So you guys see these knitted stuffed toys, yeah? And they are great because they're actually made by Syrian refugees. And these are made by Syrian women who are doing this to really earn money to feed their family and i think it's great because it encourages them and it teaches them how to make a living and how to like start a life you know for themselves for those of you who are based in dubai and you do want to purchase these things to help the syrian refugees on december 15 at gloria hotel at the fellowship of the emirates they're actually going to be providing these stuffed toys and you can purchase it from there and i'm making this announcement not on behalf of my church at all i'm just doing this because i personally just find that this is such a great way to really do something good like during the holiday season and in the spirit of christmas and for those of you who are not based in dubai you can still help out by giving monetary donations all you have to do is log 
onto loveforsyria.org. I will include the link to their website down below and you can just go in there and then donate whatever you wish to donate and you can also help kids like you know provide for their school and all of that and I think it's just a really good cause to participate in. So those are the three things that I wanted to share with you guys that will hopefully help you slow down during the holiday season. Again thank you so much for watching and for all of my subscribers thank you. Thank you for supporting Savoring Greens throughout the year and just to you know just being there for those of you who have not subscribed yet Please subscribe and join our community. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in 2019 Have a merry merry Christmas and a great start to the year